Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, the All-Merciful, the Ever-Merciful, and the Everlasting Curse be on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, as usual, I start with one of the sayings of the Master of Martyrs, Al-Imam Al-Hussein, who says, Wisdom will never be complete except by following the truth. Our respected viewers, Allah's blessings and peace be upon you, and welcome to Imam Hussein. A series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, mentioning some of the stories and events happened to him during his holy life, mentioning some of the prophetic quotes said in his right by the Prophet of Islam, and then ending up with his unmatchable martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, today's episode is the prediction of Imam Hussein's martyrdom. Our respected viewers, there are many narrations indicating that the knowledge of Al Imam Al Hussein's martyrdom was widespread during the lifetime of the Messenger of Allah. In fact, however, one such report suggests that it was well known even earlier than that. In it, the leader of Banu Sulaiman states the following When we were in the battle against the Romans, we found the following poem written on one of the churches. Does the group who killed Al Hussein bin Ali expect to be included in the intercession of his grandfather? So we asked the Romans, How long has this written been here? They replied, Since 300 years before your prophet Muhammad was sent. Thus, our respected viewers, it should be no surprise that the Holy Prophet of Islam and his pure family also knew from even before his birth that Al Hussein bin Ali would be martyred on the plains of Karbala. Indeed, it has been recorded in many places, as we have already mentioned in previous episodes, how the Messenger of Allah, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, and upon his pure family, was informed of the impending martyrdom of Al Hussein bin Ali by Gabriel himself. Accordingly, in one such narration from Al Imam al Sadiq, alayhi salam, he states, One day Al Hussein was with the Messenger of Allah. Gabriel descended to the Prophet and said, O oh, Muhammad, do you love him? Yes, the Prophet replied, But your nation will kill him, said Gabriel. Upon hearing this, the Messenger of Allah became extremely grieved. Gabriel said, O oh, Muhammad, would you like to accompany me to show you the land upon which he will be killed? Then Gabriel joined the land where the Prophet was sitting in Medina with that of Karbala by folding the earth. Then he picked up some of the dust of Karbala with his wing and gave it to the Prophet and then returned the earth back to the way it was in less than the blink of an eye. The Prophet holding the dust said to it, O oh dust, you are blissful and blissful is the one who is killed upon you. Peace be upon you, Master of Martyrs, when you were born and when you were murdered and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, this is the end of today's episode. Until we meet again, thank you very much indeed. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.